first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, the opportunity to present the results of the study of Ivan Radojkovic as a part of his uh, PhD thesis. And special thanks to Milena and uh, her team for continuous work regarding the dissemination of results uh, of uh, PM effects on health and environment. Uh, we know very well that uh, traffic accidents impose serious problems in medicine, economy, and uh, also for whole society. So, uh, injuries and deaths caused by these accidents are a major public health issue regarding the WHO. And you know also that the majority of traffic fatalities uh, in Serbia, as well as in other countries, occurs in urban areas. So, uh, we suppose that contribution of weather and air pollution to traffic accidents remains understudied. Uh, even air pollution greatly reduces the visibility of the air, leading to frequent traffic accidents. So, uh, you don't have my presentation? No? We see your presentation. It's, it, it's you can a see two it? Page, yeah, two-page Word document. Yes, we can see it clearly. Okay. Because I don't see nothing. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, so, uh, the aim of the, this pilot investigation, I guess, uh, was to analyze the main causes of road traffic crashes in Niš, Serbia. Uh, based on the statistical data on the state of traffic safety in Serbia, uh, according to Road Traffic Agency, and the re previous research on traffic crashes in the area of the city of Niš, uh, the methodological approach to the determination of the nine key risk indicators of accidents in road traffic has been established. Uh, they were organized into four groups. Uh, one of the group, for example, was number and structural crashes. Uh, another consequences of road traffic accidents. Uh, one of them is temporal and spatial properties of accidents. And also four group was Fourth group was causes of accidents and sanctions. So, uh, uh, the fuzzy method is used to rank the key risk indicators, these nine, uh, about uh, road traffic accidents, uh, and a total of 3,593 traffic accidents were recorded. Uh, by the police force, police office in each city between uh, January 2010 and July 2013, then three, two and a half years. And the most accidents occurs in the populated parts of the city of Niš with highest value of air pollution. Uh, also, the highest number of persons killed in traffic accidents in the city of Niš was identified in uh, accidents that occurred in the populated parts of the city. Also, in the winter season, with higher level of air pollution in the city of Niš from November to February, against other months, a significant difference in, a, in the number of traffic accidents has been identified. So, according to experts' assessments, the most important risk factor of road traffic crashes in uh, the field of causes of accidents and sanctions, and the second one was location of uh, accidents. So, we can conclude that air pollution could be in connection with traffic accidents and implementing measures and activities to improve air quality in urban environment can also improve traffic safety in our Republic. Thank you very much for, uh, for attention. 
thanks Maya. Uh, I have one question. Uh, this is a very interesting work and I wanted to ask uh, how do you control for confounding variables? For example, um, if air pollution is air pollution is most certainly connected to the amount of traffic. So how do you know whether it is the amount of traffic that increases the traffic accident or is it air pollution? Uh, well, I said before that uh, this is a part of PhD the thesis of this mechanical engineer, uh, Dr. Radojkovic, and uh, uh, he uh, has uh, um, original methodology. It was fuzzy method. I'm not so close with it, that method because it's uh, mathematical. But uh, first of all, they ask experts uh, what uh, uh, key risk indicators uh, will be established, uh, organized into four group, uh, groups. Uh, and uh, this is combination of qualitative and quantitative study. Uh, so, after uh, taking account this opinion of these experts, they put uh, everything in that fuzzy uh, H, uh, A H P method. Maybe you're close with the, that, your engineers. And after that, statistically, they uh, taking uh, account all these risk factors, but uh, uh, air pollution wasn't the really uh, one risk indicators. Uh, the, uh, they conclude uh, uh, indirectly that uh, uh, air pollution, according to our data from Public Health Institute uh, in uh, this part of the cities where accidents are more frequently, were more frequently, uh, is connected with this uh, uh, situation. I guess because this is a pilot, uh, pilot investigation that uh, uh, we will uh, uh, deeply investigate in the future this connection.